Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. The desperate search for a beautiful three-year-old Florida girl, Kelly, for a third time. Mom Casey Anthony walks free from jail. Ridiculous. 1,000 on count one, 150 on count two, 100 on count three, and no contact with the victim, Amy Heisinga. Do you understand, Ms. Anthony? Yes. Casey Anthony, out of jail again. Casey's lawyer, furious by this whole revolving door thing. He says the sheriff's department is just playing games by arresting Casey over and over again. If the state of Florida wants to play these games, they want to waste your tax dollars uh, and, and your resources, you know, I, I think that's for, for everyone to stand up and complain about. They sent their top cops in there. They questioned her for hours without an attorney. They got nothing. Okay, so you purposely misled us. This was all in the attempt to help find your daughter, right? That makes sense to you, Craig. Again, in a backwards sort of way, yes. In a backwards sort I'm of way. I'm coming right? back to places that are familiar to me that I know are familiar to her. That makes sense to you? It makes sense to you that I'm trying to help the police find my daughter by giving her a bunch of bad addresses? That makes sense to you? That's what I said, yes. No, no, I'm asking you. That makes sense to you. My Is attempt, that part of it? Okay, no. My no. attempt to help him find my child, okay, what I've done to try to help him find my child is I've given him a whole bunch of addresses to go to that are bad addresses. That's what I do to help him try to find my child. That makes sense to you. Straight out to Mark Williams with WNDB News Radio. Mark, what's the latest? Well, Casey got her third get-out-of-jail-free card today. Ridiculous! Oh, hey, you know. No doubt about it, but uh, she's allowed to do that. The Pacific uh, uh, bail bondsman posting $1,250 to get her out of jail free. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And what's all this business about the defense attorney talking about how wise the judge is for giving a low bond? The state didn't ask for any more of a bond. That's the normal bond in a case like exactly. this. Exactly. So yeah. why, why is he acting like the prosecution tried to get a huge bond and the judge said, no, that's not what happened? No, of course not. Again, you know, this, these are normal bond procedures for, for, uh, for these sort of charges. I mean, the, we're just talking fraudulent check charges, basically, from, brought by Amy Heisinga. Well, you this know, is, I'd wonder if is... you'd say that if it was your checking account that got cleaned out. I wouldn't be too happy. Well, you know, this is just posturing, I think, by, uh, by uh, Jose Baez, uh, because he's trying to put a best bid on this that he can. Oh, and speaking of the defense and their motions, have you seen this motion? suggesting that the crime lab technicians don't want the truth have you seen this i've uh, just uh, just crossed upon my desk just a couple of minutes ago but uh, i think the crime lab techs want to get to the bottom of this like the investigators do and i would think that jose Baez would want the same thing for uh, justice for his client we are taking your calls live mom casey anthony has waltzed back out of the orange county jail to natisha lance our producer standing by at the anthony home what happened well, Nancy, they had a larger area blocked off today so that media could not get very close to Casey right until the very end when she was able to get into the car. Jose Baez went in with those two security guards that were with him last time when Casey was released. She went into the jail. They went into the jail. She came out. Security guards in front. Jose Baez behind. Casey walked out, head held high. She seemed much more confident this time, wearing sunglasses as she was arrested in her fine Kaylee T-shirt and rosary beads, and they were off rosary once beads. again to the house. Are they Catholic? Rosary beads. No. Uh, from my information, no, they are not Catholic. She's got rosary beads? Yeah. From what I'm hearing, they were given to the family by some close friends to help them pray in the search for Kaylee. Okay. She came out wearing dark sunglasses with her head held high. Did I just hear that? Yes, that's correct. Let's unleash the lawyers joining me tonight. Raymond Judice out of Atlanta. Veteran trial lawyer Joe Episcopo out of Tampa, Florida. Dark sunglasses, head held high. What is this like? Uh, the like the paparazzi is chasing her. What about it, Episcopo? Well, that's what you got to do. You got to keep that posture. Let's face it. They, she has not told anybody what she did with this child, and that's the reason they're having difficulty bringing the charges. They don't want to bring charges and have her beat the case like Blake did out in California because there was no smoking gun. She's not told anybody. You know how hard that is for a human being to not tell anyone? Very. And that's the reason why they can't solve this case. 
You know, Ray Judice, even Susan Smith, remember her? I yeah, sure yeah. do. Even Susan Smith, who killed all her children, managed to squeeze out a couple of tears for the public. Yeah, look, there's been no question in the release of all her tape conversations while she was in custody. She's pretty cold-hearted. She's pretty emotionless, and she's totally defensive in her conversations. That's explicit in all these tape recordings and interviews that keep coming out. She's a strange bird. I think the other folks that have testified or t commented on your show psychologically have proven that to us. Well, she's a strange bird. Ain't going to cut it at trial. Although, that. in this case, I do agree with you. Everyone, we're taking your calls live. The defense in a corner, filing motions claiming they want unbiased people working on the case and an unbiased lab. Do they think the crime lab technicians are going to get a raise or a promotion based on the outcome of this case? No, they're not. Out to the lines to Jody in Connecticut. Hi, Jody. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? A question and a quick comment. The okay. question is, were the backpacks ever found? I remember the grandfather saying the last time he saw Casey and Kelly, they left with backpacks. Mm -hmm. And I know that one of the show's backpacks were found by the Orlando airport. Yep, yep. A backpack was found. I'm going to get that description for you. Um, it didn't match the description of little Kelly's backpack. But what was your comment, Jody? The comment, not that I want to compare these two, but if you were to compare Natalie Holloway's mother, Beth Twitty, and Casey, you can clearly see how um, Beth Twitty went to the ends of the earth to try to find her daughter in case you know what you're absolutely right and to this day Beth Twitty is still working that case you know let's talk about the backpack out to Nikki Pierce with WDBO Nikki I recall a backpack was discovered but it did not match the description of Kelly's backpack that's correct. The description of Kaylee's backpack was that it had a monkey design on it. It had monkeys on it. And this was uh, deemed to be not the same and potentially not involved in the case. Let's go out to famed forensic scientist Dr. Lawrence Koblinski. Kobe, this motion that was filed where, and I'm quoting, uh, they want unambiguous or least biased analysis which is not the primary concern of law enforcement or prosecution. They are attacking the government crime lab mm -hmm. as if the biology and chemistry majors and doctors over there at the crime lab want to frame Casey Anthony. As a, tech, as a scientist yourself, how do you respond to that? Well, first of all, attorneys obviously have to be zealous advocates, but forensic scientists have to be neutral and unbiased, and they shouldn't be concerned with guilt or, uh, or innocence. This says to me the defense is on the run. I think they need to develop the facts and let the juries make decisions about what happens to Casey or not. My mom flat out told me yesterday she will never be able to forgive me. And I even told her I'm never going to be able to forgive myself. Every day I've been beating myself up about this. Every single day. Right. Not knowing where to go, what to do, running in circles, literally. Because it's all I can do at this point.